are at a 17830 Billwood. If you're gonna live somewhere, if you're gonna exist in the United States of America as a human being, you need a roof over your head, folks. Do you want to continue paying rent to somebody else for that roof, or do you want to pay yourself, right? Do you want to pay off your own mortgage, right? To actually get to the point where you actually have a net worth of some type of value, uh, typically the cornerstone to that is going to be real estate ownership, right? All the luxuries of home, including all the oxygen you may never. If you're doing a lot of the work yourself, can really beat down that $19,000 bid if you do a lot of the work yourself, save some money. If you're going to ignore politics and invest in real estate, <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> I, I got a pyramid scheme to sell you because you're just trying to burn your fucking money up, okay? If you ain't paying attention to what's happening, you're going to lose a lot of money in the real estate business. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. And talk to y'all about house hacking in Cleveland, right? I got an opportunity here that could work for house hackers, right? Because to be honest with you, house hackers are going to have like a totally different pricing, uh, landlording experience than a traditional real estate investor would have on this one, right? The city and the government is uh, making things a little difficult for landlords, uh, but that could create an opportunity for owner occupants here. 17830 Dillwood Road, Cleveland 44119. Coming to you at 120K. Each unit, two bed, one bath. Now, uh, one of the units is currently being rented to a tenant for seven seventy five a month, okay? The other unit is vacant, coming to you post-eviction, right? Some deadbeat was living there, and, uh, you know, this is how they left it. Not looking fly. Now, here's where things get interesting, and here's where the two different paths uh, are going to come. Right. If you wanted Holton Wise, if you're just like a regular traditional investor, if you wanted to buy this property as like an out of state investor or something like that and hire Holton Wise to handle the renovation for you, we could do so. OK, but the cost to do that would be about 19 grand. Or if you want to get some premium upgrades and really deck this thing out, we can come in at about twenty six eight ninety five. Right. I'm sure. My guy Tyler probably threw that bid up on the screen, right? So you got the first number, 19,925. That is to get this unit from looking like the dog shit unit that it currently looks like because some piece of shit left it that way uh, to getting it meeting Holton Weiss's rent ready standards, 19,925. But if you'd like us to go above and beyond and create a premium looking unit, we can do so, 26,895. All right. Now, here's the thing if you're an owner occupant, a house hacker, a handy Andy, you could go in and you could do a lot of that labor yourself and probably get that price point much lower, okay? So that's why this is a good thing for house hackers, right? If you're gonna live somewhere, if you're gonna exist in the United States of America as a human being, you need a roof over your head, folks. Do you wanna continue paying rent to somebody else for that roof or do you wanna pay yourself, right? Do you wanna pay off your own mortgage, right? Create yourself some equity. Create a net worth for yourself, right? A lot of people running around out there, folks, that don't own homes. Y'all motherfuckers have a net worth of zero, right? I don't know how many people out there that watch my show uh, have ever actually, like, created a net worth statement. I don't know if you guys have ever had to do that when you're uh, working with, like, a lender uh, I suppose if you don't own a house yet, you probably never really worked with a lender, uh, but maybe you should Google how to create a net worth statement, and you have actually go through your assets and your liabilities and things like that, and I think a lot of you would be surprised to find out, well, at least a lot of you that don't own homes, uh, that most of you have a net worth of zero uh, or negative, right? So to actually get to the point where you actually have a net worth of some type of value, uh, typically the cornerstone to that is going to be real estate ownership, right? And this is a great way to start, right? So you, if you're doing a lot of the work yourself, can really beat down that $19,000 bid if you do a lot of the work yourself, save some money. And then here's where things really get interesting. They really get haywire. 
uh, if you're going to run this as a traditional rental property, okay, you got to get it lead certified, okay? Now, to get this thing lead certified, the smartest way to do it is going to be to replace all these old wood windows that have peeling paint. Now, that, folks, bid is going to be 30 grand, okay? And of that 30 grand, 25 of that is going to be done replacing windows throughout the entire home. And you're doing that because the city of Cleveland has gone in and they've created all of these new laws that require uh, landlords, real estate investors to get their properties lead certified. OK, now here's the funny thing about that, which, by the way, the actual process of getting it lead certified is actually fairly confusing and complicated. Luckily for you guys, though, we are here to help. We are here to teach. I have a 30 minute video on how you can get this property lead certified in the notes below well, if you're watching this show on uh, YouTube. If you're watching it on like TikTok or Twitter or, or uh, Instagram or something, it, I don't know. I don't know if the copy's under the video. It's somewhere. Just fucking click around the video somewhere. You'll find the fucking links, motherfuckers. Or they're on HoltonWise.com. Or just fucking Google Cleveland Lead Paint Certification and my shit will pop up and then you can watch it and you can learn. You're welcome. Now, this is where things get really funny and really tricky though, right? So uh, about 30 k because of these new arbitrary laws. Now, here's the thing. Cleveland's got a whole bunch of 100-year-old housing stock, right? And lead paint hasn't been used since 1978. And the only people that have to go through this lead certification process, this arbitrary process that has been created in the city of Cleveland, uh, are landlords, right? So if you decide to live there and this becomes an owner-occupied property, guess what? Guess who just saved $30,000? You, because you're no longer required uh, to get that certification, right? So take this particular house, right? Uh, you could have this house, and then the house next door to it could be completely freaking identical to it. Uh, every two years, this house has to go through all these rigorous uh, tests and standards uh, and bureaucratic red tape, and the house next to it doesn't if uh, the person who uh, lives there owns it, right? So if you're going to be a house hacker, somebody who's going to want to take care of uh, of paying off their own mortgage, have like a roommate type situation, uh, your cost of ownership on this house will be drastically different, right? And uh, sometimes here on Holton Wise TV, we get a little political, okay? And then we get people in the comments who are like, why'd you gotta make this thing political? This has got nothing to do with politics. Just talk about business. I'm just here to learn about real estate. I don't want to talk politics. Well, listen, Susan, you bitch. They're one in the same, Susan. You bitch. How can we not talk about politics when you could have this house right here required to do $30,000 worth of work because the owner is a landlord and the Democratic politicians of the city of Cleveland created a brand new law a couple years ago that's different in how they treat landlords versus how they treat somebody who lives in the house. Totally different, right? Uh, politics completely swing the ownership experience one will face when buying real estate, okay? Politics also comes into play when things like COVID happens and then like parts of the country make it illegal to evict people for a short period of time. And then other parts of the country like California did it for like four years. Susan, ya bitch. Politics and real estate are what in the fucking same. If you're going to ignore politics and invest in real estate, <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> I, I got a pyramid scheme to sell you because you're just trying to burn your fucking money up, okay? If you ain't paying attention to what's happening, you're going to lose a lot of money in the real estate business because uh, how you run your real estate business is going to be directly related to the politics. Funny story about Cleveland politics, by the way, why we're talking. Um, for a while, because these laws are brand new and Cleveland doesn't really know how to... Uh, enforce them. They've been running into some enforcement issues because truth be told, the majority of landlords out there have not actually been adhering to the lead certifications. Uh, it's something like like 20% of them have done them. Uh, so Cleveland is like uh, trying to scramble to try to figure out uh, how they can enforce these. And then for a while, what they were doing is they were having 
uh, one of the housing court judges, she was just refusing uh, to allow landlords to evict tenants who were stealing from them uh, if their houses were not lead certified. So for like a year, uh, no landlords who uh, had lead certi who didn't have lead certification, the new lead certification, uh, for a year, like they were unable to evict their tenants because uh, she would just block them. But she she ran into an issue. the 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 issue of that was like um, housing court, like magistrates. Uh, they're not allowed to just, like, create fucking laws out of their butthole. They can't just, like, be like, new law, motherfuckers. Like, it doesn't work that way in America. Um, so what happened was a bunch of, like, landlord groups, they went in and uh, they sued and they won because, like, you know, the Constitution of the United States of America, shit like that, right? Uh, so that is no longer a thing. So landlords are able to evict tenants if they don't have the lead certification. But folks, not getting lead certification if you are a landlord, uh, that is a building code violation, which in the city of Cleveland is technically a misdemeanor. I believe it's like a fifth degree misdemeanor. So uh, you can technically uh, do jail time uh, uh, for, for, for getting building code violations and, and breaking the law in that way. So I am by no means saying that if you are planning to run this as a pure rental property, I do not believe you should do anything other than underwrite the cost of you getting the unit turned over and replacing those windows in doing that lead certification bid because Cleveland's having trouble enforcing it at this moment in time. But I believe eventually they'll figure it out and they, they will get all those landlords who are not who are not following the new laws because like the new laws, dislike the new laws, they're the laws. And until the laws change or if they change... I probably don't think they're going to change. Uh, landlords need to learn how to play within the rules of the law because eventually Cleveland's coming for you if you're not following the law. That being said, I think this house is a better opportunity for those house hackers out there, people that will turn this into an owner-occupied unit. Once this becomes an owner-occupied property and you're living in it yourself, guess what? You don't got to replace $25,000 worth of windows because now, since you own it and you live there and you're not some big, bad, out-of-state landlord, uh, apparently the city's, like, it's just cool, bro. Like, it's cool. Like, oh, yeah, you got kids in there? Oh, yeah. No, that's cool, bro. No, that's cool. Oh, wait. There's kids in there, but you're a landlord? Ah! They must be fucking huffing and snorting paint chips all day. Ah! Oh, no. Well, no, the kid, the kids are snorting paint chips, but but it's not they, they, It's not a land. They're not kids of a, a person who's living in a landlord's house. They, they, they're, they're living in their own house, snorting their own paint chips. Oh! Oh, no, that's cool. Snort them motherfuckers, right? That's kind of like the stance the city of Cleveland has taken, right? Because politics uh, plays a huge role in, in how uh, real estate businesses are operated. And right now you have some politicians uh, in office in Cleveland that do not like landlords. They think landlords are, are big and bad. So they're, they're creating arbitrary rules that are not being um, levelly uh, applied to everybody. Now... Uh, truth be told, right, I, I do think lead is an issue, okay? Uh, I did actually grow up in Cleveland, right? I grew up on Bucyrus Avenue in a house that was built in, like, 1915. Uh, my brother did as well. My brother Steve works here at Holton Wise, too. And, uh, you know, we did not have new vinyl windows, so we had all the uh, old windows as well. Um, as long as you are, like, repainting things and you're not having... Uh, chipping paint everywhere and like you're not eating the fucking paint chips in my experiences uh, it's been very safe but here's the dirty little secret okay folks uh, all these houses that the landlords are now required to do testing every every two years there's like almost no housing in the city of Cleveland that was built before 1978 so even though the city of Cleveland has decided we're only gonna require testing and enforce it on a certain like group of houses based on who owns them the dirty little secret guys is all these houses that are being bought and sold and all your lead paint disclosures that say nobody has any idea if there's lead paint i'm willing to bet uh that if you were to do a swab test on any house in the city of cleveland that's like 100 years old you would probably find lead paint lead paint dust uh residue in, in and around that house okay so i'm not saying that it's asinine backwards and we shouldn't care about lead lead is a big issue 
But I guess what I'm saying is it would be nice if that issue was legislated evenly across the board. Uh, but that's just not the case in the city of Cleveland. So because of that, and because I disagree slightly with how uh, they're choosing to operate this, what I'm telling to you guys is this particular property is going to have a very different cost of ownership if you would like to live there yourself. And there are ways you could absolutely live there and make it totally safe and habitable that do not involve a bunch of bureaucratic red tape uh, from a bunch of politicians in the city of Cleveland, okay? Uh, more information on the lead paint procedures and all that jazz is in my lead paint video. And if you'd like to make an offer on this particular property, send them to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. Include your proof of funds or your pre-approval letters. If you don't have a pre-approval letter because you don't have a lender because you're brand new to the business, that's cool. Let us know. We have a whole list of lenders. Lenders. I've curated this list over my entire 15-year career, having done over $200 million worth of business out here in Ohio, folks. If you need lenders, I got lenders. Hit my team up, sales at holtonweiss.com. If before you make an offer, you'd like to tour that vacant unit, that is totally fine, too. Just shoot us an email, let us know. Hit us up before 5 o'clock. We'll get you in there same day. Hit us up after 5. It'll probably be the next day. Uh, if you want to bring your own contractor in there to assess how much, uh, what lead work you want to do uh, to either get yourself certified through the new arbitrary laws or if you're planning on living there yourself and you don't have to fully certify because you're going to be living there, you only got to worry about the other unit uh, and like some of the stuff that's on the exterior of that unit. You shouldn't have to do a lot of the stuff uh, directly related to your window, save some costs there. By all means, bring your people in there. Assess it how you like. Heck, maybe you want to move it in there and you just want to have a roommate situation. You want to live uh, upstairs and like your mom and your buddies or your friends or whoever, part of your family, extended family, uh, or maybe like a couple buddies are buying this house together so everybody doesn't have to pay rent and you don't have to worry about any lead certifications at all, right? There's a whole bunch of opportunities, a whole bunch of different buyers this could make sense for, right? Uh, I just want you all to know, what you're going to deal with based upon who and what you are because it's not going to be the same for everyone, right? Uh, your pure, direct landlords or out-of-state investors, different playing field, different set of rules for owner-occupants. So whomever you are, make sure you address who you are and know what the playing field is going to be like for you specifically so you could underwrite that into your cost of ownership before you send us an offer at sales at holdenwise.com. Here we are at a uh, seventeen eight three zero Dillwood or Dillywood. Just me standing in the middle of the street looking at Dillwood. <laughs> Do the outside right? Quick. What the fuck is going on with this damn camera? No, uh. <laughs> it's not what I want. F. F. What the fuck? All the luxuries of home, including all the oxygen you may never tenant before we evicted them. It's clearly here just puffing cigarettes on the floor. Yeah, we've got oxygen fucking things over there. It's... Oh yeah, I forgot this basement's creepy as fuck. Caution, hot. I don't like me. <laughs> Walls. All right. Goodbye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.